Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making pressure cooker lemon rosemary chicken with potatoes. And before we get started, I'd like to say thank you to my friend Scott from Bike Boats and Bivacs for sending me this nice long sleeve t-shirt. I'll put a description down, or I'll put a link to his channel down in the description box. Check him out guys. Uh, he really likes to uh, live a life to the fullest. Alright guys, I'm starting out here in a large bowl. We're going to make our marinade for our chicken and potatoes. I'm going to start out here. I have one red onion I sliced into thick slices. You can use a regular yellow onion. It's just I had a red one I had to get rid of. Six cloves of garlic I minced up. And two and a quarter teaspoon of dry rosemary. You could also use fresh rosemary. You'll have to use a little more because uh, the dry is more potent. So I'm going to get that in a bowl. I have about two tablespoons of lemon peel that I shredded off the lemon. We can get that down in the bowl. And I have a half a cup of lemon juice. That's going in. Now I'm going to add in about six teaspoons of olive oil. I'm just going to eyeball this, guys. If you go over here, no big deal. Okay, that's looking good right about there. I'm going to add in a teaspoon and a half of salt. And once again, this is just eyeballing. And my buddy Mark, you want to leave this part out, so uh, don't add salt, Mark. He's on a salt-restricted diet. And I'm going to add in a half a teaspoon of pepper. I'm going to go ahead and blend all that together. Now I'm just going to set this aside for now while I get the chicken ready. Alright guys, I'm going to vacuum seal my chicken and potatoes for about 20 minutes. If you don't have a vacuum sealer, just put it in a freezer bag in your fridge for at least a half hour, preferably overnight if you have time. So I'm going to go ahead and get my potatoes in here. I have roughly about two pounds of red potatoes that I cut into bite-sized pieces. I'm going to get them down in the bag because we're going to do the chicken first. So I want to put that in last. Now, if you have a phobia against putting raw meat in with vegetables, you can do these in two separate bags, but I really don't have a problem with it because it's all going to be cooked. I'm going to take a little bit of our marinade and get it down in the bag. All right. Mix that up a little bit. And I made my vacuum seal bag a little large. That way there when I draw the air out, it won't draw the liquid out as easily. Now I'm going to take, I have three boneless, skinless chicken breasts here I cut in half. And these are partially frozen. That makes it easier to cut them. So if you put them in the freezer for about a half hour before you use them, 45 minutes. That'll make life a lot easier for you. I'm going to get them in the bag if I don't drop them all over the floor. And for my buddy David, over in England, this is six servings, David. Get all my chicken down in there. All right. I'm going to take the rest of my marinade and dump it in there. This is where an extra helping hand would come in handy, but since I don't have one, I'll have to do this myself. Get that down in there. Scrape the bowl to get all that goodness. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and vacuum seal this and just let this sit out here on the counter for about 20 minutes and that'll draw all that marinade into the meat. I think before I do that, I'm just going to mix everybody together and we're good. Okay. And like I says, uh, I made this bag extra large because that way I can draw out the uh, air without drawing out too much of the liquid. Put it down in there. Okay, after this vacuum sealed in 20 minutes, or up, I'll bring it back. Okay, now that my chicken's done marinating, I have my Instant Pot Viva set on a saute setting. It's heating up. I'm going to get a little bit of olive oil in here. We're going to brown that chicken. And I, like I said in the beginning of the video, I have six pieces of chicken. I'm going to do them two at a time. And I'm going to do it for a few minutes just so they get golden brown on each side. So I'm going to get them in there and get them frying. And we're not going to do our potatoes just yet. Just the chicken. 
All right, guys, not all my chicken's browned. I turned my power off just for now. I'm gonna take a half a cup of chicken broth and dump it in here and scrape this goodness up, up off the bottom of the pan. That's flavor. And it comes up fairly easy. I probably could have put three chicken breasts in here at a time to saute them or fry them. But I didn't want to overcrowd the instant pot and cause that steaming action. So two worked out just fine. And now it took about four minutes on each side. So it really didn't take very long. Okay, now I'm going to return my chicken back in here. Now my chicken isn't cooked through. It's just browned. So we're going to get that in there. And my son Eric, he works third shift, second shift in the third. He's a manager at McDonald's and he's in there sleeping right now because he has off tonight. Sounds like he's in there sawing wood. Boy, that kid can snore. Okay, now that I have my chicken back in, I'm going to dump my vegetables in here, the potatoes and onions and garlic, with the remaining marinade that's in the bag. I'm going to seal my lid on here. I'm going to set this to pressure cook for nine minutes. After my nine minutes, we'll do a quick release and take this out. Once again, guys, I'd like to thank my friend Scott for sending me this shirt. I appreciate it. And check out his channel at Bikes, Boats, and Bivax. I'll put a link down below. This is done, guys. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. All right, guys, let me get in there and give this a try. Let's take a piece of this chicken. And you can see it's so tender, I can cut it with a fork. It's really good guys. Hot. First thing I taste is that lemon coming through and some rosemary and the flavor of the chicken. Let me try a potato. See my potatoes held together even the little guys but they're fork tender. They're really good. They picked up the acidity of the lemon and the rosemary and the chicken flavor. That's really good, guys. All right, there you have it. Pressure cooker lemon rosemary chicken with potatoes. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see ya.